you're in bed being lavished with attention and pleasure and your head is elsewhere. You are figuring out your to-do list, figuring out how to take the kids to school, worrying about that you haven't done crunches today and how your stomach looks, worrying that you haven't shaved for days. But you want to be present in your body. You want to be connecting. You want to be enjoying yourself. I'm Irene Fair, Women's Sexuality Coach, and I have two tips for you today on how to connect to your body, be present, and be able to enjoy all that pleasure and connection that sex offers. Here's the thing. Why do we check out of our bodies to begin with? There are two reasons, two main reasons. One is that something may not feel exactly right, and you may feel uncomfortable asking for, for what you want. So the first tip is about getting through that discomfort and making that request. Making that request to help your partner get on the spot so it feels really good. So notice what it is that you want. So it may be that his or her stroking or touch is too fast, which is totally normal because really the way, especially men are taught to touch women is way too fast for us. So if you feel like it's too fast, you're not alone. So maybe it's that you want the part, your partner to slow down. Maybe you want a different kind of touch. Maybe you want firmer touch or, or, or softer touch, faster, slower, whatever it is, notice what is it that you want and make a request. It can be as easy as, hey honey, could you go a little bit slower? Or could you touch me a little bit to the left to get on the spot? Or faster or whatever it is that will bring you the most pleasure. So notice where's, what is it that you're wanting and make a request for it. And then notice how that helps you get back into your body and be able to enjoy it more. The second reason why we often check out into our heads and start worrying about things is when the sensation of the pleasure is too much. So they're on the spot and there's a lot of sensation, there's maybe a lot of connection and it may feel uncomfortable. So what to do in this situation is to reconnect back to your body sensation by sensation. So be, to be able to receive pleasure, you have to perceive it meaning you have to notice and register the sensations that you're feeling so that you can receive and take in the pleasure. How do you do that? Connect to the sensations in your body. You can start something easy like feeling your back against the bed or feeling the point of contact between you and your partner, just where the skin meets or whatever it is that, that is happening, but that, that point, and start describing those sensations. And it, this is very important. You want to be descriptive, not judgmental. So what does that look like? It, descriptive is it feels warm, it feels hot, it feels firm, it feels prickly, it feels uh, electric, it feels smooth. Judgmental is it feels good, it doesn't feel good, it could be better. Um, those are the kind of judgmental terms. So you want to avoid judgment and stick to the descriptor so that again, you are, it's all about perceiving the sensations. And when you get better at perceiving those sensations, then you can actually start to receive pleasure. Your body starts to get more comfortable with those sensations and you can take more in. You're building your capacity to receive more pleasure. So those are the two tips. First, to make an adjustment to help your partner get on the spot so it feels better. And the second one is about getting into your body and start to feel it, feel the sensations in it. All of this is practice. It takes time to, to develop your capacity to ask for what you want and to feel your body. So practice this over and over. And you can definitely practice this outside the bedroom as well, making requests and feeling your sensations, whether you are in the kitchen doing things or waiting in line for a coffee in a coffee shop or at work and just want to tune into your body and see what's happening. So again, I'm Irene Fair. You can visit more tips and information on how to get into your body, how to know what you want, and how to get the confidence to ask for what you want on my website at ignitedwoman.com. Bye.